This video will demonstrate the basic photogrammetry workflow in Reality Capture. When you open Reality Capture, you'll see this screen. Let's change this to a two up view. Make sure that the right panel is set to 3D. Now we're ready to import our images using the leftmost button under the Workflow tab. Navigate to wherever you saved your image set, select all of your images and click Open. This set is about 170 images. Once they're imported, navigate to the Alignment tab at the top and simply click Align Images. I'm using the default factory settings here. Depending how many images are in your photo set, this will take a little while to process, but Reality Capture is pretty fast. Once the images are aligned, and assuming you have a good image set to begin with, you should see something like this. Your subject represented by a sparse point cloud, surrounded by heavier points that represent camera locations. You can use left click to pan and right click to rotate in this view. You can change the view setting under the scene tab as well as center the view on your current selection. Next, we move to the Reconstruction tab to set the Reconstruction region. Click Set Reconstruction Region, then click and drag out a rectangle onto the ground plane. Clicking a second time lets you pull out the plane into a 3D volume. Next, make any adjustments to the Reconstruction region by rotating the viewport and using the widgets to make sure all of your subject, and only your subject, are inside the region. This prevents Reality Capture from wasting time reconstructing 3D that we don't want. Once you're happy with that, head to the top left where you can select the level of processing you require. I find that normal is sufficient for most applications. Click and wait for processing to finish. This will take quite a bit longer than image alignment. Once that's finished, you'll see a much fuller representation of your subject in the right panel. Before we export, let's use the Simplify tool to reduce the mesh face count. Click Simplify in the top menu bar and enter your desired face count. I'm going to go from 1 million down to 500,000 faces. Hit Simplify to process. The next step is to colorize the points. Just click Colorize. After that, we can process the texture for the model by clicking the Texture button. You may not notice much difference to the model once the texture is finished processing, so we'll have to trust the green tint on the reconstruction region that tells us all went well. At this stage, we're pretty much done. Now you can export the textured mesh or render an image or video. To export the mesh, click Mesh in the Export section of the top menu. Give your model a name and set any parameters in the export dialog. Even better, you can use the inbuilt exporter to upload directly to Sketchfab. Simply click Upload to Sketchfab and link Reality Capture to your account. Add a title, description, tags, etc. and click Upload. By default, the model will stay in draft until you publish it. That's about it for now. Hopefully, that helps you get started with photogrammetry in Reality Capture. Thanks for watching.